Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, August 26. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? August 26. Okay, so let's see here. Um, easy does it. So no need to force things to happen. Let nature take its course. Maybe you're feeling a little bit hesitant or like things are not going to come to for you. Whatever this might be. Job, love home relocations communication whatever this is for you there is that sense of having perfect timing but also having patience are you running out of patience is it the energy that's just sort of combusting and making you feel uneasy um because with this one right here ostera Oster this is about everything manifesting um everything coming to fruition for you, new projects, new ideas, um, even having uh, babies, concepting, conception, that kind of stuff. Um, it's also that sense of new, uh, new ideas, new conditions. Um, so maybe you're feeling like you're in this holding pattern, um, perhaps going in circles and you're getting nowhere, you know? Uh, I definitely have to tell you, you have to be patient. This is the energy that's going on right now. There's a lot of uncertain things uh, that are happening, you know, and you might be feeling it. So, uh, and then you have the green, green Tara. So this is about delegating your energy. In other words, you create this sort of boundary around you. So the negative doesn't take a hold of you. We all have negative and positive to us and so it's about balancing balancing is this in that sense where you need to help others for help or perhaps maybe you extending help for others um and maybe you you're the kind of person that tries to do everything alone you know or maybe you're not speaking up or coming together with people or something like that okay uh and then you have the be strong and this is definitely that sense of um having courage um this is actually telling you you got thick skin under there even though you're feeling maybe a little bit vulnerable or the sense of you have no strength to go the distance uh this is really telling you use your inner strength and you'll have a, a happy outcome okay so i do feel is there's something there that you're you're not maybe asking for help or um, has someone really maybe taken too much of your help, generosity, almost where it's just off balance a little bit, okay? Um, you also got the side, which is about quiet time. So this is really about maybe you need to sort of move yourself away from anything that's hectic or that sort of impatience that I feel with Ognog. Um, it's about, you know, maybe things are just not happening fast enough and you're getting impatient. So take some quiet time for yourself okay um that would be resting meditation going to bed on time maybe finding this time to contemplate over situations okay the top of the deck you have the abantina so this is about prosperity so there are things that are changing in the world and you might not know yet uh, because you haven't seen them yet but we're going in this place of where everything's just been really hard and difficult to accomplish and really to stay ahead financially um it's gonna it's sort of somehow gonna turn into something more abundant for us okay and this is on a mass scale they're saying so hold tight to that because if you're feeling a lack of and you're not getting enough of something maybe that's the the sort of uneasy feeling you're having okay uh but it's gonna turn out okay all right um, let's see here. And at the bottom of the deck, you got, this is the underlying energy. So you have Athena and this is about that inner wisdom. And we did talk about that yesterday. So this is almost as if you're starting to see things different. You're wanting to look at things different and be discerning and somewhat, um, you know, contemplate things before you take action. Uh, this is that spark of hope when, when you have lost all hope there's still some sort of hope in there. Uh, so maybe you do need to sort of quiet down and find that space where you don't feel a, a lacking or discomfort or whatever it is that you might be feeling, okay? Um, just being patient also. So take it as it resonates for you today. 
I will go a little deeper and see what these mean for you guys today. So welcome, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave me your comments and your stories and all that good stuff. I always appreciate you guys being here. I do feel the energy is still really sort of, um, you know, back and forth. And maybe you just don't know where to land. Maybe there is that sense of vulnerability and communication not being quite what you want it to be. Uh, let's see here. What is the unag? Unag. So this is about taking it easy, letting things manifest in divine time. And, you know, that's the hardest thing for us because we want everything now. Um, what does this mean for the viewer, please? What does it mean? The seven of cups. So perhaps you're waiting for this new opportunity. You're waiting for this new door to open for you. I do feel like in the past, if you've sort of uh, made a wrong choice or um didn't do the thing that you wanted to i do feel like there's this window opening a window of opportunity that's going to open for you and you're sort of going to take it you know where you want to go is it because you already know where you want to go but you sort of feel like you can't it's almost this kind of feeling of yeah like you know where you want to go but you just something's holding you back and you're not going forward okay um Seven of Cups, what is that feeling, please? Seven of Cups, so you got the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. You see, um, maybe you're thinking about this too much. You're causing some kind of friction because you're thinking negative about it. There is going to be a new opening in that sense of where you will know which way you want to go. But maybe it's like you just can't do it yet. Is there some kind of love offer coming? Or maybe you want to give a love offer and you're thinking about it too much and almost to the point where you mess it up. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of antsy um, <sighs> jumping the gun, they say. You know you know when you're on a race and you sort of start before they, they say go? That's what I feel. It's almost there. Some kind of feeling like that, okay? Um, you got the Ace of Pentacles, so... I do feel if this is money related and your money's all tied up and you just sort of, you know, you can't get it. I do feel something will come up as far as abundance and money. Okay. If not, this is really just this time where you have this sort of gift and this opportunity to start things over. Get out of the, the things in the past that sort of bind you in your mind, really. Um Let's see. I feel like that's a worry with the Eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords here? Are you are you sort of wanting a new opportunity with the person that you love? You know, we got the Knight of Cups here. Is there an apology that needs to be said and you're worried how to maybe say it? And that's holding you back from moving forward. Does that make sense? Um, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, please. So the Three of Swords. Um, heartbroken, sad. Uh, maybe this is a person who left you out in the cold. Maybe you've done that to somebody. This could be a third-party situation. Maybe this is betrayal, guys. Have you been betrayed? And you sort of feel it, but you don't know how to get out of it, you know? Uh, Three of Swords is a very tricky situation. And it doesn't tell other people in your environment doing it to you. So be very careful. Um, and I do feel with that card, it, it, it did have that sense of... Uh, discernment and somewhat um, you know waiting for something to happen uh, getting that divine timing is this you moving away from something that's very difficult with the three of swords uh, give me one for the seven of cups seven of cups please like you know where you want to go okay see you you have a, a clear indication with the king of swords you know you know you've made a, a wrong choice somewhere and you want to go forward with forward with a good choice but what is the three of swords uh three of swords so ten of swords and temperance it's taken a long time to heal this situation you've been stuck on it maybe thinking over and over maybe this is something that you've done wrong to somebody um and it's almost like it keeps playing in your head like you know just almost like a um like a record player i know that's so dated but just going back and forth back and forth um so yeah, maybe it's it's that you want to move to this new new sort of relationship or job or um, maybe going to a, a place where you and your family are happy again. Whatever this might be, there's really that sense of moderating. Uh, moderate, moderating your mind, 
your sense of fear um maybe also taking a look at this three of swords situation um you know knowing that if if you know you're something's causing you some sort of betrayal or heartache you can pull yourself out of it so is this what's happening here with the king of swords it's almost like replaying an event over and over and they just don't know how to maybe get over it or in their mind they don't have enough courage or strength to maybe give the offer or maybe to heal something you know um maybe healing something through ver words and um communication like an apology that's what it felt that's what i feel like okay um what is the austera the fertility austera please austera uh so this is definitely that time that you can start over again see nine of pentacles if you've lost a lot of money you will get that gain back okay um if you found that sense of of um you've lost yourself along the way you know um i do feel like this is building that strong stronger core uh, maybe you're scared that you're on the slow boat and that sense of things are not changing for you as fast as you want uh, perhaps maybe because you want to get to that point where everything's finished does that make sense like you you it's almost like um you're beating up on yourself because maybe it took a long time for you to heal or stabilize or get your core stronger okay um but what is the nine of pentacles i do see success here i do feel as if um it, it's taken maybe this is something that's taken you longer than you anticipated okay whatever the situation is you got the page of wands, the page of wands, the six of wands, the strength card, and the hangman. So is, is this that place where you sort of had to sort of be enlightened in order for you to leave any kind of betrayal or a third party situation or something where you know you need to sort of balance yourself? Is this coming out of a codependent kind of energy as far as drugs, alcoholism, even lying, even that sense of cheating or betrayal. Maybe this is something that's done to you or something that you've done to another. Um, but see, I feel like this is where you're moving past it. Um, and maybe it's just you want it to happen quicker than it's happening, okay? Uh, what is the strength card, please? The strength card. You have to love yourself first, okay, before you can love somebody unconditionally without any strings attached, they say. Uh, see the two of wands so there's something there uh, was this needed for you this thing that you're waiting for you want it to happen very quickly or maybe get it off the ground it's almost as if you had to sort of put yourself aside have some kind of courage to to go forward to the next steps okay the two of wands is really that kind of card in this deck where maybe you avoided the situation that would make you healthy or strong or abundant okay in other words you maybe you procrastinated on the situation and that's why with the seven of cups you're worried if it's still there or not okay um i think you've been enlightened i think this is that time where for whoever this is it's like you've waited for the perfect time because either this person had a lot of baggage or and it's almost like they had to repair themselves okay before they can go the distance what is the page of wands right here maybe there's communication coming in some sort of message letting you know that it's time to go or you know things are being birthed for you okay so the five of pentacles may be a loss of missing uh and the three of pentacles it's almost like you had a situation that could have set you up really tall really really um strong healthy um s stability okay and you might have let it go and so i think that this is what needs to happen with the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles you got to fix something for it to get balanced is it that communication that you sort of been shying away from or maybe ego holding you back from right or wrong you know what i mean um but once you do it i do see victory and success i do feel like whoever this is whether this is you or them you're moving towards the right step okay um you will gain you will gain stability whether it's family love or money okay um start delegating with the t green tara so yeah maybe this is reaching out getting help um is that with a counselor guys is that with um somebody who knows you someone who just 
in other words can make you um stronger and see what can be in the sense of a mentor or a counselor or something like that okay you got the the king of cups and the seven of pentacles so this is somebody who can help you emotionally physically mentally um this is also that sense of maybe waking up to self-love healing any kind of obstacles or sort of betrayals that have gone on in your life the seven of pentacles in this deck i definitely do feel that you can have help through spirituality um, growing together uh, coming together with that person that right person or that right job whatever that might be for you um, I think that it takes a lot of self-love to speak up, to get yourself into it, especially if you messed it up in the past, okay? Maybe this is you, maybe this is your person. So take it as it resonates because it is a general reading. Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles here? Uh, you're you're losing, um, losing hope, losing faith, uh, you know, maybe blaming somebody for something, I guess. I don't know. That's what they said. The Emperor and the ace of cups so you taking control in this situation um yeah i definitely do feel that this is that sense of you know maybe this is where you put your foot down and you you take control of the situation so that you can have that new love or that sense of a gift coming in for you is it that return with the six of cups to that kindred spirit to maybe a simpler way of being in a home um this is you controlling so maybe this is a person, um, I feel with the green Tara, this is somebody who's healed. Someone helped you um, in that sense to maybe see the error of your ways, to maybe recognize that, hey, you know, you can end those ways and go down a different path. It's very empowering and you're taking control so that you can have that love. OK, um, I want to know what is the the be strong, the shkimet, shkimet. Um, so the wheel of fortune, um, you have to end something in order to get into that next step. Okay. This is a hard step because especially if you've been holding on to the eight of swords, the three of swords, the 10 of swords, where you've been stagnant, it's like, you've been thinking about making these changes for a long time, but you haven't made the move. So what is needed here is for you to end that and go towards that new thing. Okay. I don't know if that's a job, that's a place to live, a new partner, um you know like a love partner maybe a business partner you take it as it resonates guys the wheel of fortune please wheel of fortune see once you let go of that you'll have fortune okay so you got the six of swords you're leaving betrayal you're leaving lying stealing cheating um whatever that is we're being taken to a, a, a simpler kind of peaceful state okay um maybe you're just waiting for something to happen so that you can go into peace you know um that's what i hear six of swords please six of swords so transformation with the four of cups so <clears throat> if you feel like you've been needing to let go of things that dry that that sort of famine time of your life where everything was negative and wasn't happening for you this is where you have the strength to pull your free will into letting go of stuff and having this transformation. Is this spiritually? Is this maybe connecting with yourself? Um, is this from listening to others and maybe being complacent and not really taking charge of your own diligence and your own kind of um, way of thinking or information or something like that? There is definitely this transformation that's going to happen and it's going to allow you to move away from anything that has been dark or not um st stable for you okay you have to be careful not to sit there too long and let things pass you by have you done that before in that sense of procrastination have you listened to other people's instead of doing your own research or your own sort of um, information or something like that because this is a card of being manipulated by other people and i said that with the three of swords so you have to be careful if that's something that's happening in your environment or something that's happening in the home or business okay um but it's like you need to take that next step to end it and maybe it's you've been procrastinating spirituality or that sense of um wisdom that you have okay um okay you want one more you said okay one more give me one more for the be strong uh, things are going to get very rocky um and I, I see a three so is that what three days 
you know, maybe some something that's going to happen and it's going to take you about three days and you feel a little bit discombobulated or almost like you just don't know what the heck's going to happen. But it's, see, whatever this ha whatever happens for you, you're going to be able to walk away from it emotionally and start over again, okay? So, yeah, let's see here. Um, I saw a three, guys, so they said three days of maybe... I don't know darkness or just I don't know if it's if that is um the feeling of getting over something or uh I don't know shutting down for three days um emotionally physically maybe in the environment as well okay take it as it resonates guys and just the messenger um I want to know how does this story end how does it conclude please how does it conclude you're walking away from something. It's something that's been... It's sort of... I see that volcano again. You know, it's erupted. It's going to erupt, okay? And maybe that eruption is going to last about three or four days. Something like that, okay? Like the aftermath. And then it's sort of like you just don't have an understanding or a visual of stuff. But it's because things are going to be brought to the surface. Secrets, mysteries, um, delays, you know? This is a choice. Once you see this stuff happen you have that choice to leave it and move forward. And that's why the Eight of Cups is there. You're walking towards fulfillment. Uh, what else, please? So perhaps a new marriage, a new partnership in business, maybe a new home, relocating, moving, whatever that might be. It's a new commitment, okay? Um, and then you have the have family. So maybe your family's relocating. Maybe this is just finding happy finally and getting that fresh start on the 3D. That's the 3D, guys. I do feel, oh boy, okay, I feel like this one wanted to come out, so self-love is making this sort of change, and you will get that, that um, wish fulfillment, okay, and the ability to move on and get the things that you've been waiting for in divine timing, okay, um, <clears throat> let's see here, um, how do they continue to manifest this, I want to know, how do they continue to manifest this, please? How do we continue? They're thinking. Okay, so uh, balance. And that's what we see with the temperance, having some kind of balance. Um, also, uh, let's see, magic happens when you most expect it. So expect some kind of magic to happen, okay? And then um, make a mission statement for your soul. So, and, and really stay true to that mission statement, whatever that might be for you. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. What can you show me here as far as the karmic cycle? What is the karmic cycle here, please? What can you show me? What can you show me, please? I did not get it. Karmic cycle, please. okay so let's see so not today this is about not dealing with anything hurtful avoiding conversations calling a person and remember i told you it's almost like somebody who's avoiding something is it you avoiding it or are they are they so that's because the masks are taking are are being taken off or taken down not showing true feelings hiding pretending diluting gaslighting that's definitely a karmic and then so now you have the healthy choices making healthy choices and love and life self-love self-care being happier that's the opposite you're coming out of the karmic situation okay heart with the key so welcoming love meeting the the one opening your heart getting together perfect timing okay so passion and same chemistry like each other equally and having fun um that there's this addiction as well remember we talked about addiction addictions earlier so codependent obsessiveness controlling um so i do feel like that definitely could be that sense of uh ending some kind of karmic cycle here that you've been in okay uh let's see what is the abundance message here please what is the abundance message here okay so it says here um non-duality so let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bow bowing to the divine 
you can become fluent at doing both. So uh, tapping into your consciousness, tapping into God and the in the universe and the angels, and maybe even with the like-minded individuals, you know, uh, like I've talked about it before, prayer really does help. And when you connect with other people, it sort of builds a stronger sort of prayer, you know? Um, what is... The angel message for today. The angel message. Okay, so you have Archangel Gabrielle. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. And so that's what I was feeling. Insecurities, guys. You got to let go of those insecurities so that you can get what it is that you want. Okay. Uh, what is the shopper message? the chakra message for today please what's the chakra message remember the energies are still sort of discombobulated we're not out of the murky retrograde kind of energy um there's a lot going on guys the gift of the dian so aura uh this is being flexible this is changing but still staying focused to what it is that you truly want okay uh, and then, so honoring the cycles, the root chakra, letting go of the stagnant energy, which needs to happen so that you can build that stability for yourself, okay? Um, let's see here. Okay. What is the affirmation for today, please? The affirmation. What is the affirmation? Okay. So today, I feel healthy. Today, my mind is clear. My body is healthy and my soul is at peace. And no lie, if you think this every single day, you will not get sick. I'm telling you, I tell myself this every day. I'm healthy, I'm smart, I am loved, all these good things. If you say those kind of things, nothing touches you guys. It's amazing. Your mind is very powerful and you're very powerful. Maybe that's what you're learning. I don't know. Um, Let's see here. I'm being called to use this one <clears throat> okay so what must they surrender to please what it is it that they're having a hard time surrendering what do they need to surrender with please what is this okay so uh, surrender to the idea you can fix someone it is time for your relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So is there a relationship that you need to leave because you can't fix them? And I feel the frustration. I see the three of swords. Maybe this is cheating. Maybe this is manipulation. Maybe this is lying. Whatever that is, you can't fix them. And they'll really be like that forever until they want to change. Okay. And then surrender to fear. So let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on the situations, and celebrate every baby step forward. And that's what this is about. These two cards are what this reading is about for whoever this is, whether it's you or them, okay? Um, okay, so what message is here, please? What message is? Maybe you just tried for so darn long and it's just your ego and pride not wanting to let go of that thing that you can't fix, okay? Whatever that is. So finding, and this is that peace, this is that love. Um life purpose maybe this is you finding your life purpose letting go and really transforming okay uh protection you're definitely protected and some kind of justice okay this is karmic justice and it's going to happen on a mass scale you just wait and i'm telling you we're headed to this aquarius we're already in the age of aquarius guys so the effects of it are going to take place pretty soon just hang tight so recognition, re reconciliation, is this coming together with a person you love? Or maybe just balance that balance that you lost within yourself, okay? Take it as it resonates. That's all I can tell you. Um, what is the message that pertains to this reading, please? What is the message that pertains to this reading? Okay. Uh, so constellation, network, support, associates, gathered, meeting, socialized. Um, arrangement, a collection, exchanging data uh, in connection with. You're going to be able, very soon, okay, there's going to be that time where everything goes dark and you just have the sense of no communication and a sense of not knowing what the heck's going on. And look at that, it's a three, I'm telling you. They said three, okay? I definitely do feel that that is going to happen 
But then all of a sudden, once that's over, you're going to be able to have all of this, whatever you've been lacking uh, in that form of, you know, communication, connecting, uh, socializing, support, whatever that is. It's a large amount. Okay, so hang tight for that, guys. I don't know. Uh, so let's see. Let's close it off with the soul message. What's the soul message? The soul message. Okay, so what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The ex expectations you have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. When they experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship, when they are not met, it is time to dissolve your expectation and replace them with gratitude. So today's soul action, be grateful. Are you being surrounded to more peace? Peace is home for for your soul, and it is accomp accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing, you are grateful for everything. You will experience extreme fulfillment. It, it's unconditional love, you know? There's no strings attached to it. That's very so different than what we've been taught, but... That's what I see. All right. So I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a, a pep in your step and just sort of helps you to get through your day. And guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah. I'll keep sending prayers for you guys. Have a beautiful day and stay blessed. I'll see you tomorrow.